I'm loving the colors today. Thanks. Are you having a, a what's your inspiration? Uh, the brightest thing I could find on the rack. Great. Love it. Uh, when are we getting you on John's trailer talk? He said you haven't filmed one yet. What is with the <laughs> You're over it? I know. I just, this is like this thing all of a sudden. Uh, I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, yeah. He hasn't asked me, so he'll have to ask me. Oh, well, he told me he wants to get you on. Uh, so. I'm sure I'll do it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, now, one thing I love about you, Adam, is you are not one to mince words. You always tell us exactly how you really feel. So the fans now have a lot of opinions about the cross battles and how that all went down. How do you honestly feel about that part of the competition? Would you like to see it come I back? I did not like it. I hated it. Um, I hope they change it immediately. Yeah. Because I think it sucks. However, however, yep. you try things and you don't always succeed with them, right. and that's part of life, and that's part of having a show that's been around this long. And, you know, we'll figure it out. But no, I did not like. For the record, I did not like the cross battles at all. Yeah. I hope they never come back. I hope this moment contributes to them never coming back. <laughs> I hope we can do that for you, Adam. Yeah, something else. Uh, this ain't working. Uh, yeah. Big move from uh, LB Crew, though, coming back. Yeah, oh my God, I love right? him. I love him. He's so great. He had the, I thought the performance of the season, because he was just so just incredible. In that moment, he was really, it was a special one for him. And him coming back and really like having your back there in that moment, how committed are you to bringing him all the way to the final? I'm going to do what I can. Yeah. I, can I, I don't know how it'll go, but I will do everything that I can sure. to make sure it happens. Now, if we are talking purely a numbers game, you know, Blake's got the lead here. On a scale of 1 to 10, how confident is he acting? Is he gloating? He'll probably win. You think? Yeah, probably. Okay. I, would, I would not be surprised if he won. Uh, but, no, he, no, but neither would anybody else on the planet Earth. Um, yeah, it doesn't, I don't care. I'm having fun. I like to work with these kids and, like, sing and help them learn how to be better singers and better artists. And whoever wins, it's just, it just doesn't matter. Right. Like, uh, at all. <laughs> Except that Blake gloats for a year, right? Yeah, well, glo like bragging rights, like, on a completely selfish level, yeah. of course. But, uh -huh. like, I don't want to promote that result necessarily because there's plenty more you can accomplish, you know, if you go home early. Like, and, and even if you win, you know what I'm saying? It's, I think the, the playing field is pretty even for all these guys on the show, mm -hmm. which isn't the worst thing, by the way. I think right. that's actually kind of great. Yeah. Because uh, then everyone is in the same position once the show's over, regardless of whether you win or come in 10th or who cares, you know? That's how I feel. Yeah. I'm sure they're going to love that, but <laughs> it's the truth. Yeah. Oh, well, that's why we love you. Like I said, you're always down to tell the truth. about where we're at. We can't, like, pretend that something else exists that doesn't. Like, right. it's a different thing than it was, but that doesn't mean it's worse. Right. It's just different. Now, I want to ask you about Songland. Yes. Um, the news is out. You know, we've got the Jonas Brothers on there, John Legend on there. Talk to yes. me a little bit about it um, from the artist's perspective and, and what you think these artists are getting out of participating in the show. Well, you know, we, we all are either trying to write the perfect song, which, you know, is, is the hardest thing on the planet, or find the perfect song. And I think that shedding light on, on where who the songwriter is in all of this, um, or additional songwriters, you know, um, is a really fascinating thing. I don't think people understand what it's like being a songwriter, what they go through, how what their process is, how they do it, uh, the process of them like finding an artist to connect it to you, uh, which is something that was re like relatively new for me. Like I didn't really go there until halfway through like, our fourth album or something. Like that. You know, th then I started collaborating and stuff. So, um, but once I started delving into it, I realized this was an amazing world, and it's a beautiful way to show, to shed light on that part of the process that almost nobody sees. Before I let you go, Mother's Day coming up. Do you have anything planned on Sunday? I don't know. Uh, what are you doing for Mother's Day? <laughs>